Okay, we are out in the woods with the TRX4 Defender and the FCX10 just to have some fun and see how they do in the mud today. We've had a load of rain, so we've got a nice bit of mud to go through. You know, it's not really a comparison video because the TRX4 is, you know, upgraded, is brushless, whereas the FCX10 is completely stock. But yeah, we're just going to have some fun and rip through the mud. I brought my main man out with me today so he can help get his boots muddy, and he's going to be driving the TRX4, whereas I'm going to be driving the FCX10. And yeah, let's have some fun. Okay, we've got our first bit of mud, obviously both running locked diffs. The TRX4 is completely locked. I'd fit the diff spools to completely lock the diffs. But the FCX10 is going to be obviously using the switchable locking diffs. Which we've got the front and the rear diffs locked at the moment. Nice. Easy peasy for the TRX4. Keep wiggling those wheels. If you go forward and keep wiggling your wheels, you should get through. Nice. Can the FCX10 make it through? Oh, I did it easier than the TRX4. What's going on? Oh, my life, what's happening? We got a nice sloppy bit of mud by here to go through. TRX4 at first, go on. some lovely mud. Okay, FCX 10 turn. I'm not sure it's going to get through there considering the TRX4 just struggled, but let's give it a try. Obviously, you know, I'm an experienced mud man here, but, you know, I'll eat my words and say, oh, we're getting buried already. That was some nice sloppy mud. I can't believe that the FCX10 is actually managed to do just as well as the TRX4 is, and it's in some ways it's actually doing a better job, mind you. TRX4 is kind of ploughing the way through, isn't it, and making a path, and then the FCX10 is just kind of following in its uh, in its line, really, isn't it? But we've got some really nice mud today. Okay, I've been challenged to go first, so I've got to plough the way now. TRX4 is going to follow, so let's see how I can do. Okay, I'll lead the way. Stuck on a bit of a log there. Oh, there we go. Nice.
gun. I'm gonna chug it first. Looks like an excuse to use the winch. Let's see if the FCX-10 can get through and then we'll winch the TRX-4 out on the FCX-10. It's getting pretty sloppy, but we're making it through. Winched up to the rear bumper of the FCX-10. A bit. No, it's not having it. Okay, if you can't pull it out with the RC, pull it out with your welly instead. Okay, go for it. Probably the sketchiest RC I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, me being a winch line. Interesting. Winch her back up. Looks like a good lineup for a first gear water run. Who's got the power to get through the water fastest? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I think the FCX-10 had, hey, 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 easy. I think the FCX-10 just had that then, just by a smidge. You can't be a nice bit of mud fun. I'm actually really surprised how well the FCX-10 did versus the TRX-4. 
you know, I was not expecting that at all, especially when I've had like some of the slipper issues with the FCX10, where the slipper clutch was slightly too loose. But to be fair, we're having similar issues with the TRX4 at the moment as well. But yeah, at the end of the day, we had fun. They both got covered in mud, which was the main objective. But I think these two are definitely two of my favorite rigs at the moment. I mean, everybody knows the TRX4 Defender is like my favorite rig. It is just awesome, absolutely love it. But this FCX10 is actually doing a really good job. And, you know, I know some people aren't fussed on the body. I'm not a massive Chevy fan, but I think, you know, for an actual raid to run, it is pretty decent. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't killed the motor yet as well, to be fair. But, yeah, that was really good fun. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.